guys, it's me. This is my makeup show haul. It was last week, uh, Sunday the 16th and May, and Monday the 17th of May, last week. Um, I went there. I just want to give a shout out to all the wonderful people that I met, all the uh, fellow beauty bloggers, people who came up to me and said they watched me on YouTube. And oh my God, just thank you so much for coming up to me. It was just so nice meeting everyone. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. I went for a few, I went to pick up a few things and I think I got, I stayed within budget, but I got some things that I didn't go for. The most pack booths there at the makeup show, makeup, makeup forever. You really, again, for like the third time in a row since I've been there, the line was, this year I think it was worse. The line was just wrapped around the corner. Uh, you just could not get on the line. Um, Inglot is a new um, makeup company as well. Um, some people are saying it's comparable to MAC with the colors and stuff, but they have like this great thing. You can build your palette. Um, another booth that was packed was um, Eve Pearl, and I think uh, that was about it. But those booths, you couldn't, even, you couldn't even get through. It was crazy. Anyway, so this is what I got from the show. So I got some, I didn't really go to get anything from Smashbox, but I got these two glosses. I'm going to try to put uh, swatches on my blog. So I got this gloss in tees. It's just like a pretty, uh, I don't know, dark pink. And I got this expose. It's very light. I think it's more to go over uh, other colors. I went over to Obsessive Compulsive and they had some new um, lip tars. This is called Hoochie and it's what I'm wearing right now. You know, I like my bright colors. I saw this girl try it on and it was, she was lighter than me, but it was gorgeous. And I just have to have, I had to have it. And I like it. I just kind of put it on for the purposes of this video. I, you know, I have to play with it and stuff, but I like this. Oh, I also want to get some brushes from A Design because they carry professional brushes and their brushes are great. Uh, so I, I don't know how to open this now. I got this flat top foundation brush to really buff in when I'm doing, you know, makeup to buff in uh, makeup. So this is going to be great for like liquid foundation and creams when you put them on. So that's from A Design. I also got, I, I need a a uh, uh, powder brush and I didn't have one and by the time I went back for this one I had no money left so I could only afford this one which was like $12 but I want a big in the future I want a big powder brush so I just got this one for now um, and I went over to I got a whole bunch of eye brushes because um, when I went to the makeup show I was supposed to be volunteering to do uh, young girls makeup for prom but I it, conflict of schedule so I wasn't able to go but for the next time because I was like okay I didn't have like my you know my brushes or anything really ready so these are gonna be thrown in there I needed some eye brushes so I just got a whole bunch of eye brushes these were like two dollars each some were three not really maybe this was three and then it was like a four dollar one I don't maybe this was the four dollar one and this was like three or something I don't know but for the majority uh, two dollars and I really I got this one for myself because I wanted to try this eyeliner brush that's like kind of curved at the top uh, so yeah, some crease crease brushes. Yeah, so two. I paid two dollars for most of these. Anyway, hey, I went back for. Uh, I wanted to go to Becca because I wanted to get um, some more foundation, but um, I didn't end up getting the stick, um, which has SPF. I ended up getting concealer, and she said this is gonna last me about a year. She said uh, this is Casey from Becca. And this can also be used as a foundation. And I and I told her, you know, are you sure it's going to last me a year? She said, yeah, because it's very thick. So you only need a little bit. And I've already used some of it. Um, because sometimes I really don't feel like doing my whole face. I just want to cover up my, you know, beard area here where I have those dark marks. Um, and yeah, and I, if, I, if I run out of the other one, I'll just use a little bit of this and just kind of, you know, for a nice light look, um, brushing the concealer. So this is perfect match. I'm hazelnut in... Um, and I wanted to stop by Corez because I really wanted to get my hands on these wipes, cleansing and makeup remover wipes. Um, because I'm looking for a more natural version for myself to take off my makeup. I use the MAC wipes, which are awesome, especially for hard to remove uh, lip colors and stuff like that. But I wanted um, something a little bit more natural. So I'm going to test these. And actually, I tested it at the show, but not for, my, for makeup. I tested it on my hand. And MAC tends to use a sticky, it leaves a sticky film on your face so you can't reapply your makeup after that and the woman was saying that after you use this uh, you'll be able to reapply makeup um, if you want also from Corez I got ooh, I got a lip butter um, I just wanted something coral and this has like a, does it have shea butter I'm not sure anyway I just got this mango it smells great and it's just like you know it's lip butter 
Oh, I forgot. Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. I got, I met Erin from um, Makeup Fiend there. And she, I was looking at what she purchased. And she had all these beautiful colors from um, Obsessive Compulsive Cos Cosmetics. And when I saw this in her bag, I had to run and get this. Look at this blue. I'm going to try to do a swatch. This, their colors are so, oh my God. It's a matte blue. Look at that. That is beautiful. I don't know how I'm going to work it. I'm waiting for her to do a look so I can kind of copy. But I just had to have this. This is gorgeous. I love blues, purples. Just, ooh. Uh, okay, and I stopped by in Glot, as I said. And by the time I got there, I wanted a 10 eyeshadow palette. And those were already sold out. So I got these uh, lip pots. And these, co the colors are beautiful. If I could have purchased all of them, I would have. Look at that. This is beautiful. And they're very pigmented. This, and they go by numbers. So when I get some more pennies, I am going back for more of this plus my palette. Look at that. Beautiful. And I didn't go for this. I just kind of got, I don't know, persuaded into buying it. This is Young Blood Cosmetics, which I've heard a lot about, actually. Um, and it's a mineral, found, mineral foundation, no parabens and stuff. Uh, when I was there and she tried it on, it looked really nice. Um, I'm not going to say I wasted money. I, I'm not going to say that because I haven't really tried it. The only thing I don't like about this is that this is, I have to match. This is my color, but I'm a cross between this and I forgot this color right here. So I don't like mixing my foundations. I just want to be able to put on my foundation and go. But whatever. This whole kit was $30, which I thought was pretty good. And you get like this uh, rice. What is it? You get a... It's like a mineral rice, rice setting paper, so it helps to absorb the oil, absorb the oil, um, and like a high definition powder. And actually, this is what sold me this uh, blush. Again, Erin, when she saw me with the blush, she thought it was just beautiful. It's just, it's a, it's the blush is gorgeous. I have to say that. <coughs> and um, it came with a a little kabuki, a little you know brush, so. And I didn't buy these at the show, but this is what I went for. I went. I wanted to go to Makeup Forever to pick these up, but I got samples of them from Sephora. The high definition blushes, people, please check them out. These blushes are awesome. They just melt into your skin, no matter what color you you're wearing. They just, oh my gosh, for brown skin, I'm telling these blushes, wow, we. I got a whole bunch of samples here. I can't see, but. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Okay, this is looking clownish, but... And I already have, a, like, a thing on. But anyway, I'm trying to show you this because it, it... Look at that. It melts into your skin. See how much I put on? Well, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm only supposed to put this, like, at the apple here. But... Okay, well, if I was in a real mirror, you would understand what I mean. But look at it. It, it blends. You just blend it down into your skin. And they are gorgeous. I'm sorry. They look really, really natural. I, I've already used the sample. See, look at that. I mean, it looks crazy because I have on this as well. And it's not blended here. But if I had a mirror, you know what I mean. So, um, that is my makeup show haul. And I'm also, I also want to try to do um, a new series called 30 Plus Fab Equals Me. And it's going to be represented for my 30... My women that are 30 years old and over, because people think when you hit 30, you're dead. Like, I don't know, all your dreams are gone. Uh, if you're not married by 30, life is over. You have no style when you're over 30. I don't know what that is. But um, if you are over 30, just kind of sh let me know what kind of things that you would probably like to see in that new series. I'm thinking of just maybe showing some of my style, maybe doing some outfits of the day. I'm not sure. Or maybe showing how I would put some outfits together as a 30-year-old woman, 30 -year 30 -year woman who is fab. And, um... Maybe doing some makeup tutorials. Um, I already do a few hair tutorials, but I want to get more in depth with that. Like styles that I wear, because I wear this, I'm 33, and I do funky styles like this. You know what I'm saying? So um, just let me know what you want to see. Okay, guys. Bye.